Hi, Osman. Hello, good night. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Tonight? I am, I am fine. You're always fine. <laughs> you always seem happy. Oh, look, everyone's here. Hey, guys. Welcome. Hello, good night, everyone. Hi, how are you? I have to say something. Look, good night means bye bye. <laughs> so good let's evening. say good evening. Exactly. Good evening. No matter what time it is, until 12 midnight. From 12 midnight and on, you say good morning, okay? Good evening. Good evening to say hi. Good evening. Good yes. evening. All right. How's everything? How was work today? Was it good, difficult, easy, relaxed? Hard, <laughs> a lot Hard. of work, yeah. Yeah. I think it's always like that for everyone. And if it's not like that, if it's not like that, then you're lucky, that's what it means, right? <laughs> okay, well, let's get working on it the section where we left off last night okay and this is the last activity we did so everybody please join me access the platform and let's go to section 2.9 all right i think we're gonna start section three hopefully all right 2.9 can you read the objective please mauricio uh, okay uh, build your English language skill with this lesson. Yeah, this lesson on object and objectives, on objectives and nouns. By the end of this class, you will learn how to express your opinion, opinions about houses and apartments. Additional, additionally, uh, you will be additionally you will be able to describe your house or apartment in English and use eventually even uh, evaluating phrases such as apartment are too small for pets, houses are too expensive or houses cost too much money. Yes. Okay, very good. So this is an explanation, guys. So you know what to do, right? We're gonna start with this, take notes of, on the structure and all the details, please. Pay close attention, here we go. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you'll be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets, but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives and particularly we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. 
After that, we're going to make evaluations, but this time we're going to use nouns. And at the same time, we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. And then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families, OK? And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small. And I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time. And I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, 
um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes. We're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough, and then we're going to include the noun. So let me give an example here. Don't have enough. And then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include. So in this case, don't have enough parking spaces okay uh, so the noun is spaces, and then you can think of a complement if you will so you can include something else there so for example uh, what could that be don't have enough parking spaces for people right that could be the complement but in this case the noun is parking spaces and quickly I want to talk about nouns so what are nouns what are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses. Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space, right? We can think of things like privacy. And of course, we can think of things like money, if you will, right? So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money, right? Houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there. Houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment. Depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives, such as the ones that are here, and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Okay. Did you take notes? I so, hope so. you did. <laughs> some? Um, sure. Yeah, some screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to help you a lot, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> If you write it and pay attention, well, you can learn more. Um, yeah. I'm going to send you, we're going to do a different activity because I know you're tired from, it's been 15 minutes. <laughs> so let me show you what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to get speaking and I'll, okay, I'll cool. send you, let me send you an image. One second. Hold on. Bam, 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 bam. Mm, let me see. We will do something different, okay? Let me crop it. Okay. Yeah, so open that image. We're going to practice speaking using this. Last night, we practiced as ma'as, the adjective and as. Do you remember? Okay, this time we're going to practice as many and as much, okay? Let me show you the example. Hold on. Right, 
Look. Okay, so it's through the microphone. I can hear children. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, look, we're going to ask how much sugar do you put in your coffee? How much money do you have in your pocket? All right, how much furniture do you have in your house? How much water do you drink? How much coffee do you drink? This is all with much, okay? Not countable. And we're going to compare. Okay, for example, instead, you're drinking water too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Esther, let me see. How much water do you drink a day? I drink, uh, I don't know, two, four liters. I, I don't know how, how to say liters. Liters, yes. Four liters. liters, really, that's too much. I okay, think, look, I don't know. Maybe two. All right, look, guys. So I'm gonna say I. I don't drink. And here's the expression: as much what water as Esther. Okay, that's the example. So I want you to compare. If it's the same, you're gonna say as much as. If it's not, you're gonna say don't. All right, Raúl. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Mm -hmm. One. One, 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 one. One tablespoon or one sí. teaspoon. Eh, cuchara. <laughs> spoon. Spoon. Uh, one spoon. Uh -huh, one spoon. And you, uh, Victor? Uh, I use three Sasha. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. How much sugar do you put in your coffee, guys? Everybody, just tell me a number, quickly. How? Nothing. Zero. Zero. Zero, okay. Who said zero? Is that in? La coffee. Noé. Uh, okay, I'm uh, gonna say with Noel, all right. In this case, we're gonna say Noel. I don't. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Noel puts, well, but that's nothing. No, I need to ask other people. Okay, who puts two? Two teaspoons of sugar in their coffee. Who puts two? Elizabeth and only Elizabeth. Okay. <laughs> Who puts one? A house. Raul and Jose. Okay. I have one. Raul and Jose. So we're gonna say Raul puts as much what? Sugar in his coffee. As Jose. As Jose, exactly, because this That's is the same. same. Even if it's not the same, you have to write a negative example, okay? Doesn't. Okay. So you have to discuss all of these situations. Is that clear? All of them yes. are with as much as, all right? Yeah. That's what we have to practice. It's the only thing we have to practice, okay? We're gonna do it in much groups of as. three. Oh, yeah. As much as, that's the only thing we're practicing. As much as. The example, uh -huh. example, please. One more example. Ah, you want to see the example? Sure. Yeah. This is negative because it's not the same information and the other one is the same, so it's affirmative. Right? I don't do that much work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll put as much sugar. Mm, it's coffee. That's so awesome. This is a important thing, like the hamburger. Don't forget, you have to use it twice. Okay, okay. ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, discuss and then write it down. Okay, ready? Use this image. Answer and yeah. discuss all the questions. Okay, here we go. Um, mm -mm, one second. 
Okay, there. Accept the invitation, please. Please do. Yeah. Bye. Hi. Do you have do you do you have the image? Yes, I have it. Okay. Yes, I have to. Okay. Let's start. Okay. Beard. Um, Raúl. How much? How much uh, do you put? How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Sugar in my coffee. Me too. <laughs> okay. Now how let's how, how about you? When you finish, sorry. How How about you, Anna? You don't drink coffee. Uh, I don't drink. I like yeah. sports. So okay. you get relaxed when you're playing. So that's that I like of soccer and and basketball. Do you like? Uh, how much do you like basketball? Uh, we, I we play could, more. We, I play. I play more soccer, but we were when we were. Uh, Teenagers, we <laughs> we play basketball. No yeah. professional, no professional, but we have fun. It's great. Okay. Yes, I like okay. so much. Okay, let's. You let's, want to make your own examples, or you can use the let's one begin. The image. Yeah, we we will try. We was trying to, <laughs> to do in the, and I was telling, and I was trying to tell that here's the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> but, you always tell on me. <laughs> yeah, always. yeah. I, 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 I was trying to do that, but <laughs> I failed. Never mind. It. So let, let, let's let's start, partners. What do you think? Se me trabó la lengua. Ah, the teacher is here. <laughs> Por eso se le trabó. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just and kidding. the other question um, we say that both of us don't have much money in cash because we paid with a debit card ah. always so okay so let's say it's we, the same let's say it's the same it's the same mm -hmm. so I think the answer will be um Yeah, uh, what does us mean? Mm -hmm. uh, have as much money as in her cash, much as much as much money in as his his pocket as Esther. As me, Esther? Yes, as me. You? Ah, as me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he so. has as much money as I. <laughs> As, as me, so yeah. As me. Okay. Um. What? How much coffee you drink? I need to imagine. How much coffee do you drink? Say, Osman. Uh, ah, coffee. I don't forget the auxiliary. Well, but if I have money in my pocket, I will spend it. I will spend. That's the reason I don't like to <laughs> only pay to have money in my pocket. <laughs> Uh, I, spend, I only butterflies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have no self control, Mauricio. Uh, Where's your self control? <laughs> no, I don't have self control. With the money, no. When it comes to money, you don't. I spend. I spend. I spend more than. I spend more than I need. That's the reason I. I prefer don't. I prefer don't not have to. money in my wallet. I prefer not to have money in my or not having money. And um, what else? Furniture. 
how how much for no how much how many is, or how much how much, how much how furniture furniture is not countable how much water do you drink how many? sorry guys hold on wait, wait 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 i have a sandra hello the, let me see if you're on whatsapp if i have you here i have the the song what song <laughs> no, Sandra, Osmin, and I were in a group one day in one uh, of these groups, and I told them I will send you my new song on next week, so it's ready. Ah, uh, new but, song Ooh, mm -hmm. in your in your channel or how to say canal? No, no, it's not in my channel. Mm -mm. Uh, where? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to send it to the group because you will see why. <laughs> why? Only. Okay, Mauricio, wait. Okay, Agrega, Sandra, Sandra, hold on. Sandra, is your phone number 7707? Is that your phone number? No? No. 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 Seven, oh seven. What's your phone number? 774H. Ah, uh -huh. Hold on. And I will send it to you, Mauricio, okay? Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so seven 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 four eight uh -huh. five uh -huh. three zero three zero three. Ah, hold on, let me see this. Yes, I have it. Okay, Mauricio, let me see if I have your phone number. No, I don't have your phone number, Mauricio. No, seven eight. It's a seven eight six one. Seven eight six seven eight nine. Six seven eight nine. Okay. Seven eight six Yeah. All right. I'll send it to both of you. Okay. So let's continue. Uh huh. Let's go back to the topic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I like to song. To I, see I, the new the new video. Yeah, I like to I like to son yeah, as much mm -hmm. as uh, as me. What is your name, Anna? No, no. My How name is your name? my name is Josie Jocelyn. Josie. Ah, Jocelyn. 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 So I like <laughs> to sing as much as Mauricio, right? I like to sing as much as you. Yes, very good. Good example. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. And she sing very good. Uh, very well. Thank you. Yes, very, very fashion, very, very <laughs> I'll be inspiration. Back. Do you study for to be a, a trainer or? Yeah. All right, did you finish? I have some part of it. A bit, a bit part of it. Because yes. you were distracted, that's why. No, we are, we we were we was talking about how much water we drink on the practice or in the uh, game. That's why you're like going uh, to the sides of the yeah. Okay, well it doesn't matter who finished. Did somebody finish? Nobody. Yes. Okay. Well, now we have a different one, okay? I sent you another image. This time we're gonna focus on practicing as many as, okay? For example, what's the first question, guys? I don't drink as much water as What's the first question I sent you on WhatsApp? How many pairs of shoes do you have? How many pairs of shoes do you have, okay? In this country, I have five pairs of shoes. In, in the United States, I used to have 35 pairs of shoes. So you see the economy? <laughs> you see the yeah. economy? I can imagine. <laughs> okay, so who has yeah. five pairs of shoes? Raise your hand. Five. five pairs. Guys, maybe you. <laughs> maybe yeah. You yeah, yeah, I five. have five. Okay, I have, five. I have seven. Yes. Okay. Have five. Jose Luis, okay, we have the same. Um, how many do you have, Esteban? <laughs> Esteban. Ten. Ten. Uh -huh. Not bad. That's not bad. Elizabeth? Six. Tell us the truth. No, Twenty. Six. <laughs> and nobody's a shopaholic here. 
And let me see who else. Erika, maybe you. <laughs> I have 15 pairs of shoes. 15, I imagine. Ooh. Erika, I can see your face. <laughs> what? You're so Maria. <laughs> Maria, how many pairs of shoes do you have? 21. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't see it coming. I, I am 100 foot. <laughs> uh, that's a, a caterpillar, I think. I, I can't remember the, the name. How do you say no? Yes. How do you say Caterpillar, simple? I think it is. Okay, guys, so this is a thing. Caterpillar, caterpillar. Okay, I'm going to say, we're going to say as many. La, la, la. As, okay, that is what we have to focus on this time. So I'm going to say Jose Luis has as many shoes as me, okay? Because all the questions now are countable. The previous questions were uncountable, all of them. All right, so let's discuss and make other sentences. Ready? Teacher, in the negative form or not? Yes, uh, if it's different, yeah. For example, I don't have many shoes as Maria, for example. <laughs> yeah, of course. Not right now, yeah, Maria. No. Sorry. I have failed you. <laughs> Le fallado. <laughs> but in the past, I used to be like you. <laughs> so I don't have as many shoes as Maria, all right? If, if you don't match with the answer. Uh, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready. All right. Let's practice then. Accept the invitation, okay, please. Okay. And... Yes. Okay. <laughs> we discovered the truth. Okay. Okay, let, let's start. Let's start okay. with the with the wait. I got the Jose Luis, how many how many shoes, sport shoes do you have? Okay, I think that I have three pairs of three. sport shoes. Yeah, three pairs. Right. And you, Raul? Uh, I only have one pair. Pair of shoes as Anna. Is it it's correct, Nis? I don't have uh... I don't have as many shoes as Anna. Uh -huh. Yes, as I many shoes have as, as, as many as shoes many as, shoes as, as right. Don't say has. No, as as many as, as many shoes as Anna. As many shoes as Anna. Right. As as many shoes. Okay. Uh, how many how many siblings do you have, Elizabeth? The Rivera. Okay. Observamos el cono de viento, el viento, entonces con el cono vemos que el viento está del norte. Quiere decir que tenemos en uso la pista 3-3. Es decir que ahorita, ahorita está bien, tranquilo. Y, 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 y. Se le está cortando. Sí, yo también sí, viendo. Yo, vamos. Yo quería que era mi You're breaking up. No. Hey, Erika. No, son frecuencias de comunicaciones. Entonces, esa es la de superficie. Esa es la de control de aeródromo, la que controlamos desde que despega un avión hasta 10 millas fuera, que son al oeste, al norte, al este, y tenemos 5 millas al sur porque ya entramos al circuito de Comalapa. Y tenemos la otra frecuencia que es de procedimientos. Esa nosotros lo controlamos de 7,000 pies hacia abajo, porque de 7,000 por arriba le corresponde como al lapo. Y pues eso. Mm. Eso es lo que estaba Interesante su trabajo. ¿Dónde estás localizada, Erika? No estás en Comalapa, así que ¿dónde estás? No, estoy trabajando en Ilopango Airport. Ah, ok, eso hace sentido. ¿Qué did you study? Um, initially I studied bilingual secretary. Really? Uh-huh. And how did you end up there? A long time ago. 
-hmm. Then, when I came here, they said they, uh, to study for, I went to Honduras two months and then I, I came here. Can you hear? Me? All right. Ah, oh, se le trabó. <laughs> to make the practice. And then every year, and then to, to the school again, and to maintain a, a currently yeah. my license to be an air to traffic control. Up to date. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, what did you nice. study? Update, uh -huh. Ah, but what did you study? What's the name of that? <laughs> I, uh, I'm an... Uh, Bilingual secretary, <laughs> and um, I studied for an air traffic controller. Uh, okay, for how many years? No, I, I went to Honduras two months. That's it? Just two months. It okay. was the... Victor Osman? The theory, just two months. Talk to Full, Erica later. All day. <laughs> but you need <laughs> English, right, Erica? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys, let's practice, please. I'm gonna let you practice. <laughs> I have been in five countries. In four, five countries with uh, El Salvador. I only four with that El Salvador. <laughs> no, uh, five. I only. <laughs> Apart de como es, besides, no sé. Besides, perfect. Yes, that's the one. We come in soon visit Argentina. <laughs> come visit me, please. Teacher, how many countries do you visit? It? No, not a lot. Let me see. We got the river, teacher. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't like soccer, sorry. <laughs> no, la perdim, la perdim. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, guys. Okay, but yeah, the United States, uh, three countries in two countries in Central America, so three, Panama, Costa Rica, Chile, Colombia, and Peru, and Argentina, nine, nine countries. <gasps> nah, it's, it's not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> nice, nice. No, lo que pasa es que me vine mochileando de, de El Salvador por acá una vez. De por sí, qué chino. Ajá, una de las veces me vine así, para ir conociendo, so yeah. It was good. That's nice. Like all of those stops, right? <laughs> Panama, Colombia, Peru. So no, I no, don't here. visit as many countries as I haven't visited. I, I haven't uh -huh. visited as many countries like my teacher. As? No, as my teacher, right? As my teacher. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's okay. I mean, come Live the adventure. <laughs> Don't spend too much money, just just go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So yeah, in, I have in my case mm -hmm. I haven't I haven't visited as much countries as my Same. teacher and Esther and now <laughs> I only visited one Guatemala. <laughs> hey, but English is gonna open doors for you, Sandra. Don't worry about it. Right? <laughs> okay. I yeah. hope. <laughs> so in this case, it's as many because you can count countries. You can say three countries, but you cannot say three waters. So this is as much, this is as many in this case. Countable. As many countries as. As many. As many. No, as as many. Okay, you're doing a good job. Continue. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Hi. Hey, again. <laughs> <laughs> Pásense los contactos. <laughs> Me interesa que le ayude a Victoria a Osmin, pero pasa. <laughs> no, they are very inter interested about the equipment that no, 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 I sleep seven or eight hours all day, and the weekend I sleep ten hours. Ten hours. 
Yes. <laughs> An hour. I That's like cool. I like sleep. <laughs> I like yeah. sleeping. I me too. Yeah, it's sweet as us. I am garden. I am garden. How do you say ese es mi vicio? That's my my addiction. Yes, this is my addiction. <laughs> I don't I don't sleep as many hours as Maria. Such as both of you. As, as I many. think so. As many. How many? How many languages do you speak? As I speak uh, how many I I how do you say that it, it, teacher? Josie, uh, I I speak as many as many both of them. No, as many languages. You have to you have to specify mm -hmm. what as much water as many languages because this is countable. So as many languages as both of them. Uh, as many languages as both of them. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of s spilling? Spelling. Mm -hmm. or, sibling. Uh, or sibling. Or sibling. Ah, siblings is the non-generic word, not non, non, okay. How many siblings do you that have? That means uh, brothers and sisters, because brothers is for guys and uh, sisters is for girls, so that is for both, siblings. Really? Ah, uh, siblings. I never heard, I never heard before that word, yeah, sibling. Yeah, it's common. <laughs> Yeah, because you usually say I have two brothers and one sister, but siblings uh, is the the word. Sibling is is general, the both. Mm -hmm. or, or, How many or, languages do you speak, guys? Uh, one, <laughs> uh, one Spanish and trying to speak English. You speak English. Come on, Mauricio. You know what? You speak intermediate English. All right. How many? Two. And you, Jose Luis? Equal. I speak Spanish and a little English. Okay. You oh, speak two languages and you know it? I speak only 1.1. <laughs> one <Two>, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Jose Luis, you know what? I was at my friend's house yesterday and he, he recognized you. Yeah. And what? What is his name? What's his name? Um, no, I will. I will tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you will are, see. We, You're gonna we find are, out. Inbox. Inbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know El Salvador is so small, guys. So it's like these are the odds of somebody and recognizing Josie, what you. What are you doing? What? Uh, well. Oh, Almost you are you are teaching English, but mm -hmm. uh, in during the day, what what do you do in the, in Argentina? I work here too, but yes, I'm I'm studying. I was supposed to study at Uva, but then I decided to study a master's degree online, so I don't need to be here. <laughs> uh, no, but but I'm not gonna are, stay. What are you What are you studying? A master's degree. In, uh, in, in what? In language? Business? In no, business administration. Ah, business administration. Yeah, but I wanted to study psychology here. You know, it's famous for psychology. So, but I, I changed my mind in the end. Uh, okay. Right. I think we have to go back. Okay. Oh my gosh, this conversation was so much fun. <laughs> I don't know, for me it was. And let me see, how how many languages do you speak? Well, how many do hey, you two. speak? Okay, raise your two. hand if you speak three languages at least basically, at a basic level, three. Raise your hand. Um, um, okay, two. Victor says four. <laughs> Y cuenta el español de España, teacher. No, castellano. 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 
Español latino. Ah, ah. Caliche. No voy a decir caliche. caliche. También el español colombiano, el chileno, mexicano. Entonces, no sé, no sé, es Many language, many no, languages. True languages. Now Victor, wait, Victor says for yeah. Victor. We, we are we are fooling in Spanish. <laughs> Advanced native speakers. Yes. Victor, is that true? Chinese. And what else? France. English. Oh. French. Okay. Esther. Wow. Esther. <laughs> okay. Wow. 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 Really much. Oh, really. I'm really? yeah. Chinese. Yeah. And Chinese, Mandarin. Mandarin. <laughs> wow. Okay. Next class, I'm going to ask you, Victor. Basically. Okay, what? basically that counts. That counts. That's something. I'm going to ask mm -hmm. you next class, Victor. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if that's true. French. A duras penas y le damos al English. All right, let's do the exercise. Everybody go with me in section 3.2. Vieron que el tema estaba bien aburrido, ¿verdad? Pero se hizo mejor con las preguntas. Yeah. Sí. Yo solo no sé. Right, Está aburrido. According to the audio, a part... Uh, which, which part do you use? I don't know if you remember this. Let me see. Do you remember? Please help me out. According to the audio, apartments... Are too small for pets, too big for pets, or are big enough for pets? Too small for are pets. Too small for pets. Yes. Okay, awesome. Which is correct? Everybody help me. Apartment isn't comfortable enough. What? What? Well, the, first, the first are too small for pets. Number two. Apartments. Ah. You're staying behind. Number two right now. Mm, Apartments. Apartment aren't comfortable. comfortable. Too small for pets. Number two. Are too small. Apartment isn't comfortable enough for enough for family. First, comfortable. Aren't comfortable enough for family. Comfortable. Aren't comfortable. Just apartment. Number three, which is correct. Third, third, third. Right. Mm. Three. Okay. Which is correct. Which is correct. Parents don't have privacy enough. We can see. Parents have. Parents men don't, don't have, have privacy enough. enough. Don't have enough. Oh, privacy. Yes. Don't have enough privacy. Privacy. Yes. Privacy. Okay. Four, which is correct. Apartments don't have enough space. Apartments yeah. don't have enough okay. space. Yes. Space. Yes. Okay. All right. Ooh. 33 from 38. No, you say 33 out of 33. That is how you read this. 33 oh, okay. out of 33. Yes. Three, uh, okay. Well, one more thing. I hope we have time. Can you read the objective, please? Let me see who's falling asleep. I know it's late, guys. <laughs> 10 p.m. 1 a.m. for me. Let me see. No, uh, eight. Eight minutes. We have eight minutes. Okay. Elisa. Okay. Um, practice in adjectives and nouns to express comparison in English, in this lesson, practice comparison in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or difference. Additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity like just as, enough, or too much to modify adjectives and nouns. For example, use as comfortable, just. just as comfortable, or too few closets. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, awesome. 
let's see all right i think exactly oh how long is this video hi everyone eight With minutes mm, so we're just gonna watch the video please take notes because tomorrow we're gonna practice for sure okay so let's in watch. this class you'll be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments it's not the same video is it no right mm, all right have a mini no i think it's not the same video we'll be able to compare and express similarities about houses and apartments additionally you will be able to express similarities about your house <laughs> and your neighbor's house for example you'll be able to make the following comparisons Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. In this class, we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives. And we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns. And what do I mean by adjectives? Well, if we look at the adjective convenient, and what do I mean by nouns? Well, we'll if we look at the noun rooms or privacy, that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns. So let me present the formula at this time. What we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom. We're going to start with comparisons with adjectives. So in order for us to make sense of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there and then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic. So first of all we're going to have some sort of subject. This is going to be followed by the verb to be. The verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form. And it will then it will be followed by as the adjective and as. So quick example. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Towards the end, you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with. So in this case, I'm comparing houses versus apartments. Now let me give another example. What I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to make negative statements there. Apartments aren't as, and I'm going to say expensive. as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses. And you can say apartments aren't as, and I'll use the adjective here, spacious as houses. What I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities. That means that they are the same or almost the same. And that's our last example there. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. That opinion means that they are the same. So I want you to take a look at that example. Apartments, that's going to follow the verb to be in its positive form. And then it's going to follow mm -hmm. as or just as. Okay. Actually, uh, you can either say just as or you can simply say as and, and both will be the correct way of expressing it. So we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses. And that's my personal opinion, right? Or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses. And you can use any adjective to compare the two. You can say apartments are as quiet as houses, apartments are as spacious as houses, apartments are as convenient, just like we see the example there, right? As houses. And so remember that this kind of things, you're making comparisons. So maybe in your area, apartments are the same as houses. So they cost the same, you know, they are as big as houses. Uh, apartments are as convenient as houses, etc. Usually that's not the case. Usually there are big differences among houses and apartments. But in this case, we're saying that they are the same. What I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons. But this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. 
And what do I mean by nouns? Well, when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments, we can think of things like rooms, privacy, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house, those are nouns, if you will. And what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top. So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as, or just as, as you can see there. And after that, you will include many plus account now. So I want you to pay attention to that real fast. We're going to have many plus account now. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, again, Recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments, and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can you can use the adjective. Okay, we won't do that activity because we already practiced, right? And if we do, we'll do it differently tomorrow, okay? Uh, any questions? Yeah. No. Nope. Here I am. <laughs> okay. Yes. Here, here, here. Well, I'm here. I'll be tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. Good night. Right. Have a beautiful night, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.